Oh, Gauss, you were such an interesting, fast frame. But now that you have been primed, you are a more interesting, considering you have more shields, and faster since you have gone from 1.4 sprint speed to 1.5 frame. Oh yes, they primed him, and he's faster than ever. To build him, you are going to have to find two Nyatan extract, buying a bull from the Nightwave store, Nora sell, tends to sell them and it's the only way to get a hold of them, Argon crystals from forming in the voids, and no neural sensors, instead it's two tellurium for his neuroptics. Everything else is easy enough to find, it's the normal resources we see everywhere, but it is five Orokin cells to combine them after you have waited 12 hours for these to build, and then three days to build him. Or rush them, so you can go from Gauss to Gauss Prime. There's just the change in them. I mean, you can see the difference. It's 100 extra shields, but it's 0.1 faster sprint speed. Seems to be about the only major difference between them, other than this one's bouncing around and this one kind of isn't. Does come with three polarities, a V, a D, and a dash, and more importantly, a dash on the Exilus slot. I don't know why that isn't something that is there constantly. And primed frames... Yeah, that aura should be a universal aura so you can put anything you want in it instead of, let's be a thousand percent honest here. Yeah, that's pretty much the best thing to go in there, but using, for leveling purposes, you should kind of always run that. You can regain energy quicker, but yeah, corrosive projection is kind of a must. As for any other builds, Gauss has been around for a long, long time. But I have to know something instantly. Oh yeah! 2.58 sprint speed. Uh, uh, that's fast. That is very fast. That is almost insanely fast. Considering his abilities make him run faster? Okay. Sorry, Volt. I know you were kind of just keeping up. Uh, Gauss just took off and left Volt. Volt's no longer a speed frame. Gauss just straight up, hands down, wins. Say if he'll do it this time. Nope. Ah, oh, that is starting to get really annoying. Hit something. Nope, she's just coming to a complete standstill. That! Why? Won't you do this properly? When you run into something and come to a complete stop, you basically let off this explosion. And it can kind of knock over enemies and, uh, yeah, it's useful, but not that useful. His second ability, Kinetic Plating, generates armor plating that converts absorbed kinetic damage, so physical damage, slash, impact, puncture, heat, cold, and blast into his energy. It also protects him from being staggered or knocked down. And the damage resistance is relative to that fabled battery level. Thermal Sunder, his third ability, yeah, this one was, dare I say, weird, because it siphons kinetic energy. Yes, I'm seeing that again, so that would, yet again, if we take what we learned from his second ability that absorbs kinetic damage, in theory, slash, puncture, impact, blast, cold, heat, they are the kinetic energy types. Anyway, it siphons that energy from the area, charging the battery and inflicting cold status to enemies within range. Uh, range is about 12 meters of this, by the way. If you hold the button down, it kind of works in the opposite way, and it will drain his battery instead of charging it, and it inflicts heat status on nearby enemies. So you cast it to freeze them, then hold it to cast it again, but holding it longer to decharge the battery, and it will cast heat on an enemy that has cold afflicted on them that should in theory mix to create blast. And Redline, his fourth ability, it pushes his battery into what they call the red line, the overcharge zone, and it supercharges his ability to, well, his fire rate, his attack speed, his reload speed, and his casting speed. On average, 
10% uh, up to 50% faster. Fire rate is actually 15 to 75%. Attack speed is 8% to 40% for melee. Reload and casting is 10% to 50% unmodded. And what amazed me, I never actually knew about, well, I probably did, but completely forgot about it because I just tend to let this thing time out. Um, when you pass the red line and all the bolts and stuff are coming off you periodically, ah, that doesn't... I don't tend to use that, like, at all. But apparently, while his battery is overcharged, when you deactivate his redline ability... That's right, you can actually deactivate his abilities. Uh, you can with most frames, actually. Or there is a way to deactivate their abilities, usually by taking the enemies out. But I'm not going to go too much into that one. Uh, when you deactivate redline... Uh, it actually explodes a huge impact and puncture based. I wish I knew what the range of this was because I've looked and since 2019 the Wikipedia just says not applicable for the radius of red lines area damage. So I don't actually know how far this one reaches out but when you start to kind of Red line should pretty much always be active. Attack speed for melee, or fire rate, or reload speed. And it all kind of comes in really useful. And yes, I do tend to... I would probably still favor Volt, but that's out of force of habit. If I remember Gauss exists, for getting to things quickly, you really can't beat a, a good Mac rush with kinetic plating on the go. And, well, you may as well turn on red line before you even start moving and he's a hell of a frame primed he is so so much better the passive of moving generates an electrical current that fills gauss's battery yeah that's kind of how he works but it's also his passive and then there is the fact that Shields recharge up to 120% faster, while the recharge delay is up to 80% shorter based on his battery level. Remembering, moving charges the batteries, the batteries, the battery, there's only one. So, you kind of do want to be moving all the time with him. Standing still with Gauss is a bad idea. It's the only real bad idea with Gauss. Not moving. He's one of those frames that never wants to stop moving, which is why I love the animation of they did. Oh, that video for when they released him was so good. <laughs> because he never stops moving. He just, as soon as he's introduced, he's dancing all over the place. That was really well done. And I actually like that one more than anything else. Which just leads us to the one big question left on everybody's mind now gauss prime has arrived will it be the 17th of april 2024 or the 24th of april 2024 when protea prime arrives and with that we'll leave this off here thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time